Cheaters never prosper is the perfect saying for some of these video game players who thought that they could outsmart gaming developers to become top players in their favorite gaming universes. Let's take a look at these 10 video game cheaters who got what they deserved. If you'd like to hear more cool stories about your favorite gaming communities, please subscribe to our channel, or you can join the notification squad for updates when we release new stuff. Entire team gets banned from Counter-Strike Global Offensive Match fixing has become a pretty big issue with video games, especially with the rise of popularity in esports. Esports have opened up a new world for gambling and betting. That's why it's important for professional players to be honest and respect the rules of the game. Seven professional members of the Counter-Strike community were banned for creating Smurf accounts to place high-level bets on a game that they already knew the outcome of. One of the members would throw the match, earning the banned players prizes and skins. One of the players known as Cud placed nine maximum value bets on a match, earning nearly $1,200. The players that would be included in the band were Cud, Dborn, Casey Foster, Dazed, Swag, AZK, and Steel. The developers hoped that the severity of this punishment would send a message about match fixing in the future because as professional gamers, they should have known better than to take advantage of the system. These seven players players not only lost out on being part of an amazing community, but they're also banned from all Valve events for their dishonest actions. JT Darkside Guild Wars 2 After hearing this story, there's no way you'll catch me trying to outwit ArenaNet, the developer of Guild Wars 2. The game's an MMORPG that allows players to be a part of a fantasy world called Tyria and follows the disbanded guild of Destiny's Edge, which has recently re-emerged to fight Elder Dragons. One cheater experienced an epic public shaming for his behavior, which involved weeks of his character being played as JT Darkseid taking advantage of other players. Darkseid would use his teleportation abilities and kill players, disappear moments later. He wreaked havoc on the game for weeks. Eventually, his character grew so strong that he couldn't be killed, and even if he was killed, he could just reappear moments later and teleport out of danger. As the developers caught wind of the hacked character, they knew they couldn't just simply ban him. No, this would require some strategy. So one of Darkseid's characters was stripped of his clothes and forced to jump off of a ledge as developers proceeded to delete every character linked to the account. Of course, all of this also had to be recorded on video as proof of what would would happen to anyone else that might think that cheating was a good idea. Code Vengeance Banjo-Kazooie I will never forget the frightening character from Banjo-Kazooie named Gruntilda. She was quite literally what my childhood nightmares were made of. I will still argue with you today that The Wizard of Oz, which Grunty's character was roughly based off of, was the first horror film to destroy my innocent childhood. Flying monkeys, scary singing munchkins, and buildings falling on evil witches made up the worst of my fantasies. This particular green-colored witch sporting a crooked nose made cheating players everywhere cringe when she would pop up on screen to tell you, now I will erase your game pack because you had the need to hack. To be fair, you did get a warning and two illegal cheats before she would come in and crush your soul. I mean your hard work and she did teach us all a lesson about cheating at an early age. Grunty wouldn't erase your files right away, so you could continue to play, but once you'd go to save and quit, lose all your lives, or turn off your power, it'd be game over. Also, for some reason, Grunty's code vengeance had no effect on players using the Xbox 360. Technology must have surpassed her because she only had access to the N64's game pack save files. Public Apologies, H1Z1 Sometimes, it doesn't take a lot to get back to playing your favorite game after a ban. Just the most embarrassing public apology that you can think of. After 24,837 cheaters were banned from H1Z1, John Smedley, president of Daybreak Game Company, decided to dig deep inside of his heart and forgive the cheaters under one condition, according to his tweet. They would have to create a public YouTube apology directed at fellow players without personal information and email the link to him. We also have to remember that Smedley knew that TM Cheats was selling a number of H1Z1 one hacks and cheats, including aimbots, instant kill weapons, the ability to shoot through walls, and avoid falling damage to players. When Smedley was asked about losing $500,000 in revenue from the banned players, all he had to say was, we don't want their damn money, we don't want them back. Smedley is the true hero of PC gamers, because if you don't have the skill or you're not willing to play fair, then you shouldn't be allowed to pay for something as an easy replacement for hard work and patience. Anyway, the public apology thing seems simple enough, and you'd be surprised by the amount of banned players that actually lost their dignity that day. But they do get to continue playing a really awesome zombie survival game, so maybe it was worth it in the end. The Taxman Witcher 3 Wild Hunt 
You know how if you avoid taxes for a really long time, eventually you're going to be audited by the IRS and owe a lot of money and maybe even some prison time? Well, guess what? You also can't escape tax evasion in Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Even though I'll admit that for most of the game, you're probably going to be more broke than you are in real life, it's really an unfair advantage. There was a loophole that allowed players to turn a tidy profit on hides and pearls. An update made sure that players that took advantage of the loophole would be greeted by a surprise guest, a taxman that will demand you repay your debts. I guess crime really doesn't pay, not even in video games. Special Matches, Titanfall. This one is probably my favorite punishment made, especially for cheaters. Matching them together in games based on if they've cheated or not. It's like an epic timeout for unruly children. The game doesn't necessarily condone cheating, but it's definitely not telling you to take advantage of other players by placing you in matches with others of your kind. And one of the worst parts of the rule is if you have a friend that's marked as a cheater, even if you aren't, you're going to be playing a match with the rest of the cheaters. I like the idea, especially in the age of microtransactions and video games. If players want to be treated and sly, and they're willing to purchase cheats and hacks for aimbots, why shouldn't they have to play against other people that would be on par with their own skill level? Disappearing Dirty Money Grand Theft Auto Online Rockstar Games has taken punishment of cheaters into their own hands by getting a little creative as they deal with the problem. YouTube was once full of popular videos that showed cheats and glitches to earn players extra money for the game. But recently, Rockstar's cracked down on cheaters by removing money from in-game bank accounts and taking down videos that support cheating in the game. Don't worry, your shark cards won't be touched by the company if you paid for them legally. Is anyone else wondering how a company that hosts an online game where you make money illicitly now wants players to not do the same thing real life. The game's literally about being bad to earn a lot of money. I kind of feel like that's a double standard coming from Rockstar, or maybe it's just some weird life lesson that I'm missing. Permanent Bans Pokemon Go when Pokemon Go was first released, I was excited to have a reason to go outside and breathe some fresh air again while performing my favorite hobby, playing video games. No more would I have to crack open the windows in my mom's basement to enjoy the outdoors. And then, I quickly discovered that people would take Pokemon Go too far, and that gym that you held for two minutes would eventually be taken over by the hacker teenager living just down the street from you. While normal people that liked to exercise can all cheer again because Pokemon Go will permanently ban any cheaters using GPS spoofing or bots. Take that! Couch potatoes. Azubu Frost. League of Legends. Azubu Frost not only had to pay a $30,000 fine for cheating during a League of Legends championship match, but they weren't allowed to re-sign their contracts after the season ended. Team solo mid player Reginald went to YouTube to try to explain some of the strange details of the match and how TSM's computers had been running slowly and at one point they were unable to use any of the chat servers for communication. It was discovered that AZF Wung of Azubu Frost had looked at stage screens of the TSM players' minimaps during the game and the information that Wung passed on to his teammates helped secure their win. It also proves that someone at Riot must have been listening to Reginald and the outcries of people that had been watching the match between TSM and Azubu. The team's fines would be donated to a Riot Games charity in Korea, and the fines made up 20% of the winnings. In this case, the cheaters were the losers, but at least it was for a good cause. Kid X Overwatch. If you haven't heard about the huge ban that took place for cheaters of the popular team-based shooter game Overwatch, then you have to be living under a rock in the SpongeBob SquarePants universe. No, seriously, you would have to literally be living in the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean to have not heard about this. One particularly gruesome case happened to a top 200 player from Korea named Kid X. The Overwatch player was banned during a match midstream for using an aimbot cheat. He only got three glorious minutes of gameplay before the plug was pulled indefinitely. I wonder if he savored those final moments of glory. After hearing some of those horror stories about cheaters that went too far, I'm sure gamers are sure to think twice about making any rash decisions. Remember that skill and honor always wins in the end. Until next time, folks.